Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create this text animation inspired by Pixray. In this video you're going to learn how you can create a letter morph animation, how to warp your text and lastly how to create extrusion with the help of Minimax effect. So before we proceed further all I want from you is that to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed yet. Also let's give a huge shout out to Pixray for its amazing work. Now let's start. All right, so let's just start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it text design. The width is set on 90-20. I'm going to change the height to 1080. And the frame rate is set on 24 and the duration is 6 seconds. So this is OK. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to write the word lazy. Now the font is set on rock grotesque compressed, which is fine. I'm going to just align it to the middle. And I'm going to create a shape from this text. I'm going to hide this one and then I'm going to reveal it and this time I'm going to change its font from compressed to let's say uh, black uh, okay that seems fine let's also line it to the middle and let's create shapes from it and we don't need the, la the text layer and then what we need to do is that we need to morph these letters so, so to do that what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to set some path keyframes and then I'm going to move towards one second and I'm going to get the copies from these sets of keyframes and then I'm going to paste it for the another one. Now, if I have problem with this kind of animation, I have another video called Letter Morphing Animation, which I already explained everything in detail. But if you are following my channel, you understand that basically every time I want to make some morph animation, I do these steps. So let's just reveal the original text layer. So we have something like this, which is exactly what we want. Now let's set the easings on 80%. All right, that is nice. Now let's go towards the next step, which is the warping this text. So let's create a new composition. And this time I'm going to set its height on 9020. And let's call it the text warp. All right, let's bring the text design composition in here. And the next effect I'm going to add is the uh, Bezier Warp. So basically when I add the Bezier Warp, you see that I have a few tangents in here that I can warp my text like this. However, since our composition is a bit big and now our tangents are set at the, each corner of the composition size. So what we can do is that I'm just going to go towards the text design composition and then I'm going to use the region of interest which is in here and let's go towards one second so we see our text at its maximum stretch and I'm gonna try to draw something like this and make sure that you bound it perfectly neat so like this should be fine great and then what I need to do is that I'm gonna go towards the composition and I'm gonna select trim comp to uh, region of interest so now our composition has changed to as you see 1912 by 608 pixel so this is what we want now if we get back to the bezier warp effect as you see our corners has changed so let's now go towards the zero seconds i'm gonna set all of the keyframes in here and then in one second I'm just gonna do a small warp in here so what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna adjust some of these tangents like this and let's select it one more time and start adjusting it like this okay That seems fine. All right, that seems cool. So let's go towards the one second, which is in here. And let's also extend these two a bit. And let's copy and paste the first set of keyframes for a perfect loop. Let's set the easings on 80%. Great. 
Now let's go towards the next step which is creating the extrude but before we get to that part if you have enjoyed this video so far please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much now let's continue. So I'm going to create a new composition and this time I'm going to call it main and let's hit ok and I'm going to bring the text warp in here. Now it is time to create the extrusion that we want. Now I have already another video that I have explained everything in detail which will pop up right now and you can watch it after this video. But for this video I'm just going to quickly explain how you can create a simple extrusion effect and it's really simple. So what I'm going to do is that the, in order to create the extrusion you will need to use an effect called minimax. So I'm going to add the minimax and minimax by itself as you see has a few parameters that we can tweak. For example, if I change the radius, as you see, nothing will happen because firstly, we need to change the channel from color to alpha and color. And as soon as I do that, you see we our text has some kind of turned into a weird shape. So I'm just gonna select the duration, and I'm, for example, I'm just gonna change it to vertical. Now, as you see, the text has some extrusion. But the problem with the minimax effect is that you don't have any transform control over your shape. So that will basically cause this issue that you cannot control the extrusion of your shape. But we can fix that with adding a few transform effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a transform effect and I'm going to push it above the minimax effect. So this will basically control the minimax effect. So for example, now if I change the rotation to 75 degree as you see now our shape has entirely changed to uh, to 75 degree so now we can fix that extrusion by adding another transform effect which i'm going to do and let's just press enter and i'm going to call it for example this one rotation and this one i'm going to call it the fixed rotation so this third uh, transform effect now controls the both of these uh, minimax of minimax and rotation effect so if i for example set it on minus 75 as you see now the extrusion if i open the minimax is set on the behind of this shape which is exactly what we want now we can add an expression to make our work easier so i'm just gonna hold alt and i'm gonna click on the rotation and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna pick whip this rotation in here so let's select it I'm going to pick whip it to this rotation in here. However, I'm just going to write a minus before it. So this basically means that whatever this value is, you need to turn it into minus one and it should be the same as the first rotation. All right. Now that we fixed the uh, rotation, what about the position? So the position of the minimax is also some something that we should consider. So if I reveal the front uh, lazy layer by adding a CC composite effect and I, for example, add a fill effect and I push it above everything. Now, as you see, we have the main layer in here and we have the extrusion. But as you see, it is sort of, uh, it doesn't really start from the front of the layer. So if I open the minimax effect, now, as you see, I have set the radius to, for example, let's uh, change it to a small number such as 20. If I add another uh, transform effect and I basically place it above the fixed rotation, which, and I call it the transform extrude. So basically I know this will control the extrusion. If I add the like 20 pixels to the uh, y value of the uh, extrusion as you see now our text has fixed so basically we need to add another expression that we tell the after effect when you increase the radius of this parameter also increase the y position also increase the value of the y position so how are we going to do that i'm just going to start with a right click on the position to set up an expression so after effect basically wrote something and I'm going to delete these parentheses too. And we're going to start from the beginning. So I'm just going to 
add a not add a open bracket to start the expression now what i want to do is that i want to tell the after effect that the transform of this x and the transform of this y plus whatever it is in here so to do that what i need to do is that i need to start uh, making a open parenthesis so i'm just going to do that and then i need to add a double quote mark and then i need to write the position and make sure that the spelling is correct and the position you write is with the capital p this is really important and now i need to tell the after effect which position either it is x or y so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to open another bracket and i will tell zero so zero basically means the position of the x value and then i'm going to separate them by adding a comma and again i'm gonna copy this uh, effect extrude so this means basically an um, effect of this transform extrude now which part again we need the position so let's uh, start with a uh, position and now i need to tell the y value so i'm gonna start with an open bracket one so this means the y value now plus i'm gonna use the pick whip tool in here and i'm gonna parent it to the radius of the minimax now after effect wrote something that says minimax and radius which is correct and then i'm gonna close the expression now if i change the radius as you see we have the extrusion that we want so this was basically the way that we're gonna create the extrusion so now it is time to animate it so i'm gonna just open the rotation and let's set the rotation for example to minus 75 and then i'm gonna add the radius i'm gonna set the radius for example to 80 percent and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna go towards one second which is in here i'm gonna set a keyframe and then i'm gonna just go set another keyframe on rotation as well i'm gonna press u to see the keyframes and then i'm just gonna set the rotation for example to zero and then the radius on zero as well so let's see so we don't necessarily need the rotation so let's just set it on minus 75 so this works fine now we need to add a bit of animation by adding a, a position parameter so i'm just going to do that and then when it reaches in here i'm just going to shift it a bit towards right and also let's decrease the text to 90 percent so we have something like this which is exactly what we want however we need to go towards the text warp and i need to sort of make sure that i'm on the one second and i want to adjust the lazy warps a bit more this seems fine and then uh, let's just increase the extrusion a bit more so let's say around 90% should be fine and then I'm gonna just finish the loop at two seconds and let's turn the easings on 80% 80%. great now let's add a tint effect to control the color and also I'm going to turn off the RGB only on the CC composite so I can work with the tint effect better now the black one the black color I'm not going to change however let's just change the white to for example yellow and let's stylize it a bit further I'm going to add a stroke effect let's set the color to black and let's set the size to 10 so we have something like this also let's make sure that we change the fill to black as well great now let's just change the color a bit and lastly let's add a background and let's add a fill effect 
So let's get the white color like this. So we will have this animation, which is our final result. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check the other videos which will pop up right now. I will see you in the next video. Have fun.